This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. High School Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight's game, it's girls action, independent matchup here at Goodno Gymnasium, the Frontier Red Hawks, the East Hampton Eagles. Hi again, everyone, this is Chris Collins along with Zach Lino, Alec Echo, and Kevin Murphy as tonight, the Frontier Girls, five and three, two and one in the Franklin County League, take on an East Hampton Eagles team with a similar record, five and four. They play primarily Hampshire County schedule, but they do play some Franklin County teams one of the common opponents these two teams have had are the AFL Red Raiders, which beat East Hampton by a point, and which Frontier handled very handily in this gym about a week ago. So tonight we'll see what the Red Hawks can do against an East Hampton team that comes in. A very, very young team, only one senior on this ball club. That's Kyla Roy. The rest are all freshmen, sophomore, and a couple of juniors. So we will see what kind of a matchup tonight brings as the Red Hawks come in and have been playing pretty well. Good defense. They've been scoring baskets and bunches, and we'll see if they can keep that roll going against East Hampton tonight on the home floor. Let's go down to the floor for the starting lineups and the start of this one. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Eagles from East Hampton High School. The member high schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups for East Hampton at guard, number two, Emma Downer. At guard, number 10, Lauren Morse. At center, number 22, Michaela Walcott. At forward, number 21, Maria Belfacchi. At forward, number 15, Abby Coleman. He stamped in his coach by Brian Miller. Now for Frontier, at guard, number three, Megan Self. At guard, number 22, Marie Demon. At center, number 12, Amelia Sobieski. At forward, number 11, Caitlin Mackin. At forward, number 21, Rebecca Bridwell. Up here is coached by Dave Michon. The officials for tonight's game are Jim Cleveland and Claude Salomeo. Please rise for now. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, 
great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. Okay, <clears throat> we're getting ready to start this one. Be curious to see what East Hampton brings to the table. They've got, like I said, a very, very young team. And similar record, Zach, you know, so that could be interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's an independent matchup, so you never know, but hopefully we're in for a good one. Well, these are also independent matchups are a good test. I mean, every win that you get counts toward the tournament, but uh, if you can get in a game against the team that's not in your division, it won't count against you in the league. And again, whoever finishes first and second in the league gets an automatic tournament bid regardless of their record. But you want to get those 10 wins, get in the tournament on your own, and then think about what happens after that. Yep. So Bieski will jump for the Hawks against Grace Downer, and the tip is controlled by Frontier. Now Demon now goes right side to Megan Self. And they throw it around. It's again to Demon. The left corner. And a running shot is at the side of the backboard. Mackin goes up for a shot. Blocked, and that's a foul. And this is going to be a non-shooting situation. It's going to be a foul against East Hampton. First one, and that is against Bafaki. Inbound pass to Megan Self. Megan pull up hook shot from the corner is no good. Megan gets the own rebound, comes back out. Fresh 30 for Frontier on the baseline it goes. So Bieski jumper hit the side of the iron. And a rebound controlled by Eagles. He's Hampton pushing it quick, stolen. Stolen back almost a little too quick. Demon now runs it up, feeds Mackin off the glass, and good. First point for Frontier. 2 nothing Frontier. Inbound pass goes to Lauren Morse, who runs the point for the Eagles. Right side to Emma Downer. Cross court. And they fire it down on the right side. Lauren Morse shot up, does not go. Rebound controlled by Caitlin Mackin. Up ahead to Megan Self on the baseline. Inside to and shot up is no good as that was Fed for Caitlin Mackin. They come back the other way, and a shot is no good. Partially blocked. Megan Self comes away with it. Hands off to Demon. Demon. The self. Megan for three. Does not go. Out of bounds, and we're going the other way. 6.20 to go. Opening quarter. 2 0 Frontier. Emma Downer throws it in to Lauren Morse. And the pass goes behind Downer, out of bounds, unforced error, we're going the other way. Megan Self gets the inbound pass from Caitlin Mackett. Up ahead to Caitlin. In the corner to Megan. Back to Caitlin in the middle. Cross court. Goes to, now goes in the uh, corner to Self. Down nice low to by Frontier. Sobieski off the glass it in. Nice post move there by Sobieski. Four nothing Hawks. Morse. Lobs it ahead to Downer. Inside the wall cut off the glass and in. Demon now with it. Bounce pass to Megan Self on the right side. Self drives into the corner. Lobs it inside Sobieski. Back out to Mackin. Mackin for three. That's going to hit the front of the iron. Come out deep. And Caitlin with it now. Mackin goes up strong. And is blocked on the way through. And she'll get a couple of shots here. Two shots for Caitlin Mackin. And that's a second foul. On Bolovki, she'll have to get out of there. First shot is no good. She get one more. No subs as yet for East Hampton. 
Second shot does not go, so she misses them both. Out of bounds, and it's East Hampton ball. Now we'll have a sub come in, and it's going to be Nessarine Bentley in per Bill, for Bill Faki. And now inbound pass goes to Lauren Morse. Up ahead to Downer. Downer back to Morse at the circle. Morse bounce pass in the corner. It's going to go out of bounds, though, ahead of Bentley. And we're going the other way. It's a little bit sloppy to start this yeah, game. Yeah, Fletcher just forcing easy turnovers. Ray Demon running the point for the Hawks. Over to Megan Self. In the corner to Demon. Demon tries to feed the paint, goes through everybody, and there. out of bounds. So that was almost like a skip pass, but yeah. went out of bounds in front of the, the scorer's bench, so he's tempted to in back. Morris feeds the paint and trying to go through. And a foul. Mm. Or no, I'm sorry, it was out of the out of bounds. It went off of a frontier player, not a foul. So East Hampton will keep it with 25 to shoot. Five second violation. Nice defense there by Frontier, forcing another turnover. Demon now bringing it up for Frontier. Left side to Caitlin Mackin. In the middle of Megan Self. Self. In, in the corner to Mackin, Caitlin goes cross court to Demon. Demon spots up for three, does not go. Over the back, it's yep. going to be on Sobieski. That's her first foul, team's first. Quick substitution. Self out and Warren in. And also into the game for the first time is Kylie LaFord, replacing Bridwell. Morse throws it right side. East Hampton looking for something. <laughs> Every time East Hampton pushes it down low, Frontier swarms. Bentley now with it. Bounce pass on the baseline, lays it up and in. A grace down it. Tied at four, less than four minutes to play first quarter. Three-pointer, good. And that was Marie Demon who drained that three. In the left corner, and the jumper spins out on Walcott. Possession arrow favors East Tampa on the tie-up. So, Downer will inbound under the basket. On the baseline, shot up is good, as waiting there for it was Lauren Morse. 7-6, Frontier by one. The Ford now with it, in the middle of Sierra Warren. In the corner of the Demon. Touch pass to Sobieski, through her hands. He's tamping controls. Bob into the corner, drive along the baseline, and Emma Downer's shot is no good from the elbow. Rebound control Frontier, here come the Hawks. Fast break, Sierra Warren. Bounce pass to Sobieski. Sobieski, jumper from 12, off the glass. Nice hustle play there by Kaylin Mackin. Mackin got the rebound, put it back up. Drew the foul and she will go to the line. First foul on Grace Downer. First shot is good. She'll get one more. Second shot does not go. And Emma Downer comes away with it. Poked out there by Mackin. Mackin again, good play. He's tamped in the inbound. Bentley with it now. Right side. Look back to Lauren Morse. Cross court again. A little confusion there by East Hampton. Yeah, they fumbled it there, but saved it. 
And Stolen by LaFord. Kylie LaFord right there where she needed to be. Bounce pass to Mackin. Mackin goes up with the hook off the glass. And Tough in. shot, guys. So Caitlin Mackin has four points. 10-6, Frontier largest lead by four. Bentley with it. Trying to double team. Trying to work on Mackin. That's a size mismatch. Right side. Three pointer misses everything. LaFord the rebound on the back side. LaFord to Mackin. In the corner to Demon. Demon. And pass is stolen by Lauren Morse. Morse goes strong, lays it up. Count it one. Nice play there by Morris. So Lauren Morris with a chance to trim this lead to one if she makes this foul shot. Megan Self back in. Marie Demon will take a seat. And that is the first foul on Kylie LaFord, team second. And she makes the field, the free throw rather. Five points for Lauren Morse, 10 9. Frontier by one. 144 to go in the first quarter. Sierra Warren now. Running it up. Hands it to self. And they tried to pass it to Mack and stolen away by East Hampton. And they lose it. Actually, it's knocked out of bounds by Warren, so East Hampton will keep it. 28 seconds on the shot clock, 133 to go in the quarter. East Hampton can take their first lead with a bucket here. The downer back in the middle to Lauren Morse. And almost stolen there. They recover it. And batted away. And they still get the shot off, though. Bentley does. Misses. Self now with it. Warren after it. The ball was tipped. Warren to Sobieski. Sobieski and has it just taken out of her hands. Yeah, just Bentley. threw the double team and couldn't convert. And layup is no good. Put back. Count it. Woo. For okay. Lauren Morse. So Lauren Morris, it's in her first year, freshman, has given East Hampton a lead, 11-10. Mackin out, Demon back in for Frontier. A foul going Megan Self, her first. And the foul shot misses. Sobieski the rebound to Warren. Warren loses control. Left side to Megan Self. Megan for three, spins out. Bounce pass in the baseline to Sobieski. Shot up, misses. Frontier's not giving up. Sobieski's turnaround jumper rims out. Frontier and keeps it alive. Self. They've got numbers. Find Sobieski, it hits it. 12-11, Frontier by one, 19 seconds left in the quarter. Shot clock is off. And they try to feed the paint, stolen back. LaFord gets a lane, shot misses. Warren the rebound, three seconds to shoot. Demon shot, spins out. And that's how the quarter will end. We played one quarter from South Deerfield at the end of one. It's Frontier 12, East 10th and 11. Red Hawk Basketball, Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheswick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. 
So Frontier emerges from that first quarter with a one-point lead. Not exactly a, a fundamentally sound first quarter on either side of the ball, but it's a one-point lead for the Hawks. If either team here just cleans up their ball play and you know, they're passing, it could lead to a larger lead. I think Frontier has got a better game in terms of moving the basketball, but yeah. they, they had some rough moments in the paint. But defensively, they're playing pretty solid. Sierra Warren inbound in front of us. And she inbounds to Marie Demon. Demon goes left side. They try to feed Sobieski in the paint. And that sloppy pass. There you go. And fast break. Dribbles off the side of her foot. And a jumper from the corner. Side of the iron, no good. Sobieski the rebound. Sobieski outlet to Demon. Demon up ahead to Mackin. Caitlin stops to Warren to Demon. Mackin on the elbow, feeds Sobieski, jumper in the lane, no good. Rebound controlled by East Hampton. This is Bentley running it up. They try to feed the paint again, a little overplay, out of bounds. Still East Hampton ball with 21 seconds on the shot clock. The sophomore Emma Downer to throw it in for East Hampton. In the oh, Bentley. rejected there by Mackin. Nice block by Mackin. East Hampton will keep it. They'll inbound right in front of their own, the Frontier bench rather, Emma Downer to throw it in. Goes back out to Bentley. Into a high post. Over to the corner to Downer, down low to Wall, caught on the baseline. Double, triple team up, there you go, steal. And Demon now. And she... Blocking foul. It's a blocking foul as Demon Try to go to the basket. Bentley was in her way, so Bentley gets called for the ticket. Still not shooting. It's the fourth team foul, the first on Bentley. Warren throws it into Demon. Demon from the elbow. This is badly. Out of bounds. Kept in, though. This play by Sobieski and a travel. As that was Bridwell took an extra step. Frontier may be missing their shots, but they're getting some nice offensive rebounds. Morse now brings it up for the Eagles. Morse, top of the key, left side to Bentley. Bentley nice drawing, double coverage. Drawing a lot of attention from Frontier. Oh, swatted there. And once again, that was Mackin. Three-pointer from the elbow, no good. Put back, wildly shot, no good. And Frontier has it. Warren now with it. Sierra Warren stops. Demon. Bridwell to Warren for three. Yep. She's a great shooter. You got to close on her. 15-11. Frontier by four. 6-16 to go in the first half. Goes in the corner to Downer. On the baseline, a shot hits the side of the iron. No good. Outlet pass. No. Unfortunately, Mackin didn't see it. Yeah. Didn't have eyes in the back of her head. So, went out of bounds. East Hampton will keep it. Lauren Morse gets the inbound pass. To Downer in the corner. Downer tries to step through coverage. Over to Bentley. And once Swat again. back there by Mackin. Mackin's had three or four of those tonight. Yeah. And they throw it away. So Mackin wreaking havoc in the backcourt. Really predicting the nice pass play there by East Hampton. So Demond will throw it in to Sierra Warren. And Frontier will look to extend this lead. Bridwell to Warren. To Mackin, working a weave in the corner. It goes to Demon, back to Warren. Good passing by Frontier. Over to Bridwell. And driving on the hit on the side of the backboard was Mackin. Out of bounds, still Frontier ball with 10 seconds on the shot clock. As that shot did not catch iron. Yep, so it'll be 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Inbound to Demon. Demon runs cross court. Hook shot off the glass and in. Nice play there, Marie Demon. 17 11. Frontier by six, their largest lead. 5 17 to go in the first half. And a charge, I believe. That's what it looks like. So we're going back the other way. 
So the Hawks can open up even more of a lead here. And the foul is on Walcott, her first. Demon now kicks it back to Mackin. Right side to Warren. Warren from the elbow. That doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Frontier. Sobieski now. Going strong. With nice the zero step there with Sobieski to get it to go. And Amelia's got six points. It's an eight-point Frontier lead now. Six unanswered points by the Hawks. Morris tries to feed the baseline, and we're going the other way. The Hampton's starting to look shaken here. Well, they have not scored a point in this quarter. They're at 11 where they were at the end of the first. Demon now with it. It's a 7-0 run here for Frontier in the second quarter. The Ford now, and goes through Stolen. Mackin's legs. And Bentley goes up strong, lays it up, does not go. Bentley gets the rebound, though, and she'll pull it back. And they'll set the offense up. Bentley drives through. Ejected by Sobieski. Sobieski and Mackin have been having a time out there tonight with the blocks. And trying to drive, drive through is Morris, and it's stolen back. Amelia on a breakaway, lays it up and in. And I think East Tennessee yes. wants to talk about it. Time out on the floor. We'll take the break. The lead is now 10. It's Frontier 21, East Hampton 11. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Zach Lino, Alec Eckel, and Kevin Murphy back out here at Gunnar Gymnasium. So far in the second quarter, it has been all Frontier as uh, they lead 21 to 11. East Hampton has not scored a point in this quarter. And uh, some of their offensive sets have been pretty disorganized, although the defense of Frontier, specifically Mackin and Sobieski, using that height to their advantage, uh, blocking passes and making it very difficult for East Hampton to get into a rhythm. Lauren Morris now, one of seven of her team's 11 points, runs it up, passes to the elbow. They'll throw it back in the middle. And a high post Walcott loses control. Sierra Warren now with it. Bounce pass left side to Mackin. Caitlin back to Demon. And it saves it from the. Mm. What a bit of backcourt violation. Yeah. Downer runs it up. And now Bentley. Nearly stolen, but they save it. Well, East Hampton's really <laughs> having Throw a rough time. They're having a tough time getting anything going in terms of yeah. any kind of passing. Once they get into the front court, they're having a really difficult time. And that's part of that's because East uh, Frontier's playing good defense, too. Yeah, they've also got a little bit of size advantage, so. They throw it into Bentley. Bentley being hassled by Demon. And they throw it into the elbow, almost out of bounds. Jumper from the corner. Hits, hits rim, out of bounds. East Hampton will keep it with a fresh 30. Quick substitution, and Sophia Massa checking into the game for... McKinnon Walcott for East Hampton. Emma Downer to throw it in for the Eagles. Frontier runs a man to man. And have a five second. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that's the second time that's happened tonight to East Hampton. Good D again. Everybody was covered. Demon gets the inbound pass from Warren. Left side to Mackin. Back to Sierra in the middle. Right side to LaFord into Sobieski. Sobieski, turn around, jumper good. Nice post play there by Sobieski. Right off the glass, and Amelia's got 10 points. And the lead is 12. 2.56 to go in the half. A lot of contact there, but no call. And now a break. Oh, rejected by Sobieski. Sobieski with a, with a nice block behind the play. And, a, uh -oh. and what do we have here? Technical foul on the coach. Ooh. Technical foul. Apparently the coach for East Hampton was Spelling, mouthing off. Yeah. So it's going to be on the bench. Technical foul. Marie Demon will shoot two shots in the ball. We saw double technicals the other night against Wakona in the boys game. Yeah, but those were players. Correct. That's the first time we've seen that in a girls game. Demon makes one of two. Two shots in the ball. The lead is 13. 
East Hampton not getting much help from uh, their bench on that one. Slow BS, the turnaround jumper does not go. Rebound goes deep to Beeman. Beeman to Sobieski, turn around jumper, blocked nicely. And the Eagles come back up with it. Once again, swarming Frontier D. And Mackin just laid out an East Hampton player. Yeah. A lot of contact. Sobieski gets Play it back for to Beeman. It. A lot of contact there, no call. They're actually not calling much. In the middle of Mackin, right side to Warren. Warren. And Stolen there. A steal. Up ahead it goes. Lays it up. And a foul on the way up. As Morse was hit on the way up and she will go to the line. Yeah, and Bentley for East Hampton already has three steals. So. It's not like completely one side on the defensive end. The foul is on Caitlin Mackin. Her first team's fourth. First shot does not go. She'll get one more. Once again, East Hampton has not scored in this quarter. Big self will sub in for Sierra Warren. They are stuck on 11 points. Second shot doesn't go. Rebound Sobieski. And Demon lost it off her foot. You don't see that very often. sam has got numbers on the break. And they score. That's Massa with two points off the turnover. 140 to go in the half, 24-14. He's frontier with the lead. Cross court over the head Ooh. of LaFord. Out of bounds and we're going the other way. And if you're frontier here with a double digit lead, just slow it down. You have control. And coming back into the game for Frontier is Bridwell. Mackin will sit down. Morse now with it. Maurice Hampton runs right side to the elbow. Quick cut off at the baseline. LaFord steals it. LaFord to self. Megan up ahead to Mackin. Mackin. Oh, a lot Offensive of contact. Yeah. Charger for Demon. Ran right over the East Hampton player. And we are going to go the other way. That's the first one on Demon. Got our money's worth there. 15 foul. Demon will check out. Warren will check back in. Morris bounce pass in the elbow. And foul. Foul away from the play, it looks like. Perhaps a little bit of a reach in there. It's going to be on Bridwell. He's tamping throwing it in front of the Frontier bench. And they get it into Bentley. Bentley draws double coverage. Bounce pass to Roy. Roy goes over to the corner. And a three-point bomb thrown up by... Self will save it. Moores is no good. And rebound, Frontier. Warren now with it. Megan Self, top of the key. Megan right side of the forward into Sobieski. Sobieski tries to spin, travels. Mm -hmm. She got bottled <coughs> up. Yeah, there's about three defenders right on her as soon as she went low post. 33 seconds left in the half, 29 seconds on the shot clock. Morse now runs right Goal side, coverage. kicks it back. The downer. Picked up by Self. And they spin it around. And they feed the baseline. Wide open up. look. Right there was Masso who's got a quick four points. Seven seconds left. Warren now, left side, loses control briefly. Hits it back to Self. Self for three. Ooh. That's going to miss. And that's how the first half will end. We played one half of basketball from Goodno Gymnasium at the end of one half. It's Frontier 24, East Hampton 15. Second half action upcoming. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by...
Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Second half action upcoming here at Good Note Gymnasium. The Frontier Red Hawks lead the East Hampton Eagles by a count 24 to 15. Leading all scorers in the game, Amelia Sobieski for Frontier with 10 points, 6 for Marie Demon, 5 for Caitlin Mackin, and a 3 pointer for Sierra Warren. And for East Hampton, Lauren Morse, the leading scorer, with 7 points, 4 for Sophia Massa, and 2 for Walcott, and 2 for Grace Downer. So, second half action is underway, Zach Reno, and hopefully East Hampton can find a way to make more of a game of this than it's been. They only scored 4 points in that second quarter. Quick steal there by Sobieski. And they start off with a steal. Does Frontier self now with it, moving left to right. Or right, right to left, rather. Sobieski loses control in the paint. East Hampton, nice job protecting that down low play. And layup is no good. Rebound Demon. Behind the back dribbles, up ahead to Bridwell, and Bridwell got blocked. Oh, man. Whew. Contact. And that should be, they're going to say she was hacked while shooting. So Rebecca Bridwell with a chance for her first points. Fouls on Kyla Roy, her first, team's first of the half. Bridwell's first shot is good. Second shot upcoming. And she makes them both. 26-16, the lead is up to 11 now for Frontier. Nice trip there to the cherry stripe for Frontier. Stampton trying to move it into the front court, and again, uh, we got a foul. Yep. As a little bit close on the hand check was Megan Self, and that's her second. Down her throat in, and she does. And they feed the paint, stolen by Sobieski. Outlet to Marie Demon. Demon drives through, loses the handle. Kept in though. Rebel to Sobieski. Demon on the baseline jumper, short. Fighting for her own shot rebound. And the arrow favors Frontier. So Demon will throw it in under the basket. Gets it into Mackin, back to Demon, and we're going the other way. It's tough if you're East Hampton, because every time you try an outside shot, it really hasn't worked out well. And you know Frontier's going to be projecting that down low play. Now we got a blocking foul again. This is going to be, I think, on Megan. That'll be her third if it's on her. And it is. Plus her in some foul trouble. So Megan Self, that thug, is in foul trouble. <laughs> so she'll come off. Megan, of course, when she's not playing girls basketball, is one of our crew at FCAT and does a great job for us. Three-pointer does not go. Rebound comes back out to East Tampa. Jumper from the baseline does not go. Mack in the rebound. Or, 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 uh, Demon the rebound up ahead to Mack. Kaylin runs the right side. Goes cross court. Back in the middle of Demon. Demon, Demon weaving. And a on the floor foul. Blocking foul or foul on the way through. I'm pretty sure that's going to be on Morse. Yep, her first. Into the game is Sydney Taylor, who replaced Megan Self. And Sydney will inbound. Under the basket. Finds Demon on the elbow. Demon. Cross court to Mackin. Mackin. A lot of contact. 
And they're going to call a blocking foul. As that one's going to be on Roy. That'll be two on her, I believe. And Caitlin will go to the line for a couple of foul shots. So Frontier's making these fouls count. Yeah, and Mackin's huge for the rebounds of Frontier. First shot misses. She will get one more. That one goes. 27-15, Frontier by 12. Stampton charges into the front court. They try to feed the paint. Mackin goes to the floor. And what do we got? Possession arrow favors East Hampton on the tie-up. Right. So Downer will throw it in. Back in the corner. Trying to drive in the baseline. His zone defense here. Shut off twice in the baseline. They're trying to feed oh. the baseline. So BS, he got a hand on it. Went out of bounds. Still East Hampton ball. 18 to shoot. Frontier protecting the paint. Well, they're really... They're clogging the baseline, too, very, very well. They're not letting anything really, any kind of interior passing happen. Well, that time they got it in the baseline, yeah. but. All rejected Sobieski. Again, Amelia. Amelia and Mackin have had a great night tonight with the blocks. East Hampton will still keep it, but they still have only 13 seconds to shoot. Downer to throw it in. She does. And dribbling around. Assumed. Again, great defense by the Hawks. Mackin was up strong, a little too strong off the backboard. Sobieski the rebound. Sobieski the put back. Nice shot go. goes. Nice shot there by Amelia Sobieski. Off balance, but made it happen. And the lead's back up to 14. Everywhere East Hampton goes with the ball, they're seeing gray shirts. Oh, yep. Timeout on the floor will take the break. 526 to go in the third. All Frontier. Red Hawks 29, Eagles 15. This is Red Hawk Basketball with Frontier Community Access Television 1. Chris Collins, Zach Lino, Alec Eckel, and Kevin Murphy out here at Good Note Gymnasium tonight for girls action coming up this week. Another action. Frontier Boys against Pioneer this week. That's going to be an interesting matchup as Pioneer is coming off a win over Greenfield, just their second loss. And, of course, Frontier beat Greenfield, so that's going to be an interesting matchup, a league matchup. And then uh, high school hockey coming up this weekend, weather permitting, as the South Hadley Tigers take on the Greenfield Green Wave at Collins Moylan Arena. Inbound pass goes cross courts, and East Hampton looking for an answer. Again, they have not scored in this quarter. They've only scored four points. Yeah, and there'll be a travel for a downer as she's got trapped on the baseline. They've only scored four points since the end of the first quarter. And that is no way to win a basketball game at any <laughs> no, level, no, no. especially against this Frontier team. Demon now runs it up, gets a screen from Mackin. And they try to throw it ahead, but it goes too far ahead of Mackin. And Lauren Morse comes away with it. And again, East Hampton trying to dribble out of it. And this is going to be a foul. There does not seem to be really any kind of cohesive game plan. Yeah. I it's think like, they've lacked a little game plan here. Yeah, they get into the front court and they just sort of dribble it around until they see somebody open. And most times, <laughs> they're surrounded is. by frontier players. That's going to be a reset as she kicked it. Did Mackin, or uh, Demon. That foul, by the way, was a second on Demon, third on the team. Downer throwing it in. That's going to be a backcourt violation. Oh, nope, I think they're going to say oh, it's tipped. Second. Okay, they're going to say it was tipped. All right, out of bounds. So East Hampton will keep it. And again, stripped there by Demon. Just relentless defense. Up ahead it goes. Mack in with a hook shot in the lane. No good. And it's going to be foul a foul on the rebound. Foul on the rebound on Mackin. So we're going the other way. 
Four and a half to play in the third quarter. It's the second foul, by the way, on Caitlin Mackin. And East Hampton is getting shut off. They really are having a tough time even passing the ball. That time a running one-hand layup by Morris is no good. Out of bounds, and it will go back to Frontier. Kyla LaFord is in, and out Sydney is out. Sydney Taylor. Sarah Warren just back into the game, about to throw it in. East Hampton now opting for a full-court press. Demon now runs it up. They break it. Demon goes strong through. A lot through. of contact, no call. Put back, yes. I didn't see you got that one. Was that? Uh, that was Demon. Demon, okay. It wasn't LaFord. So Demon has eight points, and the lead is 16. They run it cross court, shut off, and it's going to be a foul on the floor. Yeah, I think just a hand check on that baseline. It's going to be on Sierra. Her first team's fifth. Yeah, so I'm just trying to pick up a little bit of foul trouble here. And they throw it in and off the glass and in. Morris. Morris has been doing her fair share. That's the first points for East Hampton of the second half. Demon to Mackin. Caitlin, right side to LaFord. Down on the baseline, back to Sierra Warren. Warren for three. Back iron, no good. Battle for the rebound. Jump ball, possession arrow favors East Hampton. So Demon went in there against Morse to try and get that one. Yeah, this is a good hustle play. Lauren Morris now brings it up for East Hampton. Hands it off. And Frontier not giving a centimeter of room. Rejected. Tight defense. Another rejection. And here comes Warren. Warren to Demon. Right side of LaFour. LaFour up fakes. Takes the jumper. Front of the iron. No good. East Hampton the rebound. Go into the corner. They drive the baseline. Put up jumper is good. Who goes down there? 31 19. Nice feel in the baseline. Nice give and go. But two responds. And that was LaFord with the two points on the baseline. And now here's LaFord a steal. LaFord strikes. And oh, just just the off, but Mackin right there with the rebound. Takes a lot of contact going back up with it. It's going to be a foul. That is going to be the second on Lauren Morse. Caitlin Mackin at the line. First shot's good. Silky smooth release. She'll get one more. So Bieski will have a seat and Abby Howard into the game for Frontier. Back in second shot, rims out. Nice <laughs> put back by everybody. Marie Demon just not giving up on that play. 36-19, 17-point lead, Frontier's largest. East Hampton still looking for an Tip answer. Tip Ford. Ford got a hand on that one. Sid Taylor coming back in, and Mackin will sit. Time out on the floor, we'll take the break. 2 one to go in the third. Frontier continues to dominate. Red Hawks 36, and East Hampton 19. This is Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So it's a 12-4 run in this third quarter as Frontier continues to extend the lead over the East Hampton Eagles. And Frontier just, I think, the better team overall to yeah. it appear tonight. Dominating on both ends, offense and defense. Emma Downer to throw it in for East Hampton. Lobs it out. 
to Morris. Morris with the shot, front of the iron, no good. Before the rebound. And and nice go. play by Bentley, block it. Bentley's and now got four steals. Missed the layup though, Demon the rebound. Right side it goes to Taylor. Taylor drives to the elbow. Back to Demon. Demon drives through, lays it up, and in. Nobody was there. Marie Demon's got 12 points in this game. 38-19. And Bad miss there. The layup misses everything by Downer. Rebound to Warren. Sierra. Bounce pass in the baseline, shot up no good. And the Ford slammed the ball into the, the frustration. You gotta be careful with that. Yeah, it could get tech easy for that. There's already been one technical foul in this game. That was on the East Hampton coach. Bentley now with it. Bentley stops. Cross court. Three-pointer, good, by Emma Downer. They gave her the look, she took it. I tried to get Claude Salome, the ref, one of the refs, to tell me at halftime what the coach said. Yeah. All Claude would say was he said something. Oh, okay, well that narrows it down. <laughs> the fourth jumper is no good. Turnaround jumper by Sid Taylor is no good. Put back by Demon is good. So Frontier dominating pretty much every aspect of this game. Offense, defense, and rebound. Yeah, this is turning ugly here for East Hampton. It's an 18-point Frontier lead, 20 seconds left. Demon goes to the floor for it. And Frontier calls a timeout. We'll take the break. 14 seconds left in the half, or the quarter, rather. And it's all Frontier. Red Hawks 40, equals 22. This is Red Hawk basketball and Frontier community access television. So the Red Hawks will inbound in front of us. This is final 14 seconds of this Third quarter, 18 point lead. Demon to throw it in. Frontier off the stack. Demon will inbound it to Warren. Ahead to Warren. Stolen Warren stolen there by Morse. Morse quickly ahead here to Massa. Massa will cross court, cut it to Bentley. Bentley three, no good. Rebound, Frontier, yes. And that is the end of the third quarter. We played three from Good No Gymnasium. Take a break, come back for the final eight minutes. Frontier 40, East Hampton 22. You're watching Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheswick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Chris Collins, Zach Reno, Alec Echo, and Kevin Murphy back out here at Good Note Gymnasium. Final frame of this one upcoming. Um, I don't want to say it's completely academic at this point, but based on what we've seen in the first three quarters, Zach, I think yeah. Frontier's probably going to go on to get their sixth win of the season. You without know what too they much say. Effort. Don't say it's over till it's over. If you're East Hampton, you just have to still hold on to some hope and push hard here at the end. Megan Self, who's in foul trouble, will inbound it in front of us. And Zach Lena with the call of this one. All right, Megan Self to inbound. Get to the, the Mackin. Back on the drive, will kick it. Put in good there, quick play there by Frontier. Yeah, that was just pretty quick. Who goes deep on the shot? Bentley now with it. Cross court pass. 
Shot by Demers, no good. Rebound Frontier. Megan Self now with it. He's in to Mackin. Mackin on the drive. Up for two, it's good. Not a great pass, but a good finish by Caitlin. It's a 22 point lead now. Morris bringing up for East Hampton. Closed off quickly. A hand check on, I believe, Megan Self. That's going to be four on Megan. And Megan has no points and four fouls. Yeah, she's going to stay very careful here. Odd for her to be in that situation. Wants to bring it up. We'll kick it to Downer. Downer quickly cut off. Foul. I think one of the problems with, with Megan is Megan and Caitlin Mackin were here earlier on our microphones. Yeah calling the JV game and I think yeah. it got <laughs> she it took her head out of things a little bit. She wasn't ready. She was she was thinking more of the broadcaster than she was as a basketball player, but you know what? In a game like this, yeah. It's okay to have an off not game. Not a problem. It's three fouls on Marie and now we're into the one and one. Yeah. Counter the line. First one. No good. Jump. Foul. That's how we'll go on Sierra Warren. Yeah, that's her third. So all kinds of players in what would be considered foul trouble with a 22-point yeah. lead. It's not that big of a deal, I don't think. No. So Mackin will dribble up the Frontier. Gets a screen there by Sobieski. Kick it in the paint, but stolen there by Bentley. Bentley has five steals this game. Bentley stopped pick and roll, but caught, gets a travel. I was just about to say, I like her game. And I do. I think, you know, she's been good defensively. Yeah. That time just took an extra step. I think a few of these Hampton players play a little bit too quick. Making himself to inbound. Get into Demon. Demon will kick it up to Mackin. Mackin head to Sobieski. Sobieski backing down. We'll kick it into Demon. Demon, tough shot, no good. Runs off. Back into Sobieski. Sobieski over the a lot of contact, no call. But even when they make mistakes, Frontier is able to come out of it looking, looking pretty good. Yeah. They didn't score on that exchange. But they got, they, what, two, three rebounds? Yeah, they made a couple of mistakes and still got a couple of rebounds out of it. Morris will bring it up. A lot of coverage there. Stolen. So Gaske you now will go up with it. Ooh. Stopped half court. Kicks it to Birdwell. But roll out to Demon. Demon will kick it to Megan Self. Megan Self looking for the drive. will kick it back out. Bring itself into Sobieski. Sobieski double teamed. Foul. Yeah, they tried to, they're trying to double down on Sobieski. Yeah. Because she, and she has got 12 points. It's a good idea, but they just don't have enough height to be able to really no. check her well. And as soon as you do that, it'll open up a shooter on the wing for Frontier. Correct. Bring itself to inbound underneath the basket. We'll kick it in. Gets to Mackin. Kick Sobieski. Sobieski deep two. No good. Rebound Birdwell. Stolen there, stolen back by Frontier. Mackin on the drive. Through three East Hampton players and gets it to go. Mackin's having herself a night. 15 points. Excuse me, 13 points. Hey. East Hampton will inbound. Morris will now dribble it up. And kick it down low. Shot no good. Rebound Frontier. Those you gotta make when you're that Demon open. whips it ahead to it. Be out on a tip from East Hampton, so Frontier will have possession. Megan Self will inbound. Gets to Sobieski. Sobieski nearly double teamed. Puts it up, no good. Mackin. And swat out of her hands, we a mean frontier ball. Good defensive play by East Hampton to strip that ball out of Caitlin's hands as she was going back up for the shot. Yeah, they're staying really good with that interior defense. Megan Self to inbound. We'll get it over to Birdwell. We'll kick it to Mackin. Mackin lost it, but they'll say it's still frontier ball. Megan and Self will inbound for the fourth time on this possession. Katie Wells Robinson into the game for Mackin. Kicks it to Sobieski. To Birdwell, shut off on the edge. 
Bring himself kick it to Demon. Demon from deep. Had the right line, yeah. just not enough distance. Just hit that bomb in the net there. Time out on the floor, we'll take the break. 5.16 to go in the game. He's Frontier 46. He's Hampton 22. This is Red Hawk Basketball. Frontier Community Access Television. All right, so Frontier has dominated this game, both offensively and defensively. East Hampton just kind of looking to slow the bleeding here a little bit. And we will resume. They believe a East Hampton inbound. Frontier calling in a sub. Red will sub in for Warren. It will be East Hampton inbounding. Downey will give it to Morse. Morse will dribble it up. And really picked up at half court by Demon and Megan Self. Forces a long pass. <coughs> long pass. And Demon fighting for it. Get the jump ball. You'd think they were down by 24 instead yeah. of up by 24 the way they're hitting the floor for all these loose balls. The hustle Frontier manages to play with throughout the whole game is very impressive. Bridwell is out and Sierra Warren is in for the Hawks. So down or one bound. Poked free there. Megan Self ends up with it. Stepped on the line. East Hampton ball. It's only if uh, East Hampton is a little bit sooner. Yes. It's like the game would be a lot different. Down and inbound. Gets it in. Morse now will end up with it. Morse dribbling at the top of the key. We'll kick it to the corner. Roy will think about it. We'll actually pass it off. Tough coverage there. Contact on the shot. It's probably going to be on Sid Taylor, I think. I believe so. Looks like Donald will go to line for two. Yeah, her first, Taylor's first, team's eighth. I should say Grace Downers. I believe there's two Downers on there's the team. There's two Downers on the team. Th this, this would be, if she makes both of these... She misses the first. They've yeah. only scored seven points in this half. It's not good. Which is pretty unusual. I mean, they don't have a terrible record at standing at five and four. And they've, they've only scored 11 points since the first quarter. And that's just not going to get it done. I think part of it does speak to Frenchies made the defense. I would back agree. up, fouled. So Downer will go back to the line. <laughs> so we'll see two more attempts here by Grace Downer. That's two fouls on Sid Taylor. Two quick ones. Yeah. Four minutes and 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Can't dip into that lead. Well, you, should, you know, she tried to go for the, the bank straight shot. shot before. This time she went for the bank and just kidding. Just a rough night yeah. shooting all around for East Hampton. Can't get that one to go either. It's still East Hampton. East Hampton ball. ball. Will be Emma Downer to inbound. We'll kick it to Lana Morse. Morse on the wing will cut it back out. Downer deep two. No good. Rebound, Frontier. Demon ends up with it. Almost stolen there back by Morse. Frontier will dribble up here. Demon will kick it to Warren. Warren on the key, shut off. We'll kick it into Sobieski. Draws double coverage. Kicks it back out to Demon. Poked out there by Downer. Just to clear the top of the key from Morse. Threw it to no man's land. It will be Frontier's ball. They were trying to feed the baseline. Not a bad idea if somebody had been there to catch the pass, but unfortunately yeah. there was nobody there. Like two or three Frontier players there. That's about it. Nice applause from the crowd for Marie Demon's work tonight. Probably seen the last of her tonight, I would think. Yep. Before we'll mount. Warren will now have it. Warren Dragon will cut it to LaFord. Cut it to Megan Self. Megan Self on the drive. Tough hook shot. Way off. It was partially blocked, too. Yeah. Down ends up with the rebound. Up to Morse. Morse at the top of the key. Checked up by Megan Self. Will kick it to Downer. Downer kicks on the wing. Back up to Morse. Morse from deep. Can't get it to go. Gets her own rebound. Shot, Lee's hand, no good, just off. 
Fight for it down low. Story of their life tonight. They lose possession again. So the lead's still at 24. We've been stuck on 24 for a while, 46-22. Until we'll inbound it. Tapped out will stay frontier ball. Some subs coming in for East Hampton. Jessica Cloutier into the game for the first time. Also back in is Michaela Walcott. Down there to Warren. Warren will now dribble it up for Frontier with three minutes and 20 seconds left. Bring himself power dribble, kicks it to Warren. Warren from deep. Off the mark, rebound. LaFord ends up with it. And loses it. Oh, somehow Sobieski gets it, puts it back up for two. That was all strength by Sobieski. Yeah, she just ripped game. it out. Great game in the middle. Morse will now dribble it up. Kicks it, quickly shut off on the baseline. Kicks back to Morris. Down low, Downer, yes sir. Should get two. Grace Downer's got six points. Warren to Sobieski. Sobieski shut off. Popped there by Downer, but Warren regains control. Kick it to Self. Sobieski down low play, goes. What a night for Amelia Sobieski. Yeah, 16 points. Morrison now dribbled up for East Hampton. Down her deep two block <laughs> there by Taylor. Just sent that one back. Nice pump fake there by Wolcott, but won't get him anywhere. He's got to throw it up, and it goes there by Downer. Emma Downer will get five for the night so far. Warren now calling out a play. Kicks it to Megan Self. Warren in the corner, kicks it to LaFord. LaFord, down low play, just off the shot there. Downer, and they're dribbling up quick. Kicks it to Morse down low. Kicks it back to Downer. Up and in, it's good. Grace Downer's now got eight. Sierra Warren with it, kick it to Megan Self. Megan Self into LaFord. There's a bounce pass there, but it's shut off there by East Hampton. Morse kicks it way ahead there, Downer, but Jump ball midair. Excuse me, I think I just called travel as a new frontier ball. Sierra one will now with it. Dribbling up the court. We'll kick it to Megan Self. Megan Self kicks it back at Sierra Warren. The Ford pump fake, pulls, misses everything. That was way off, but it was a good idea. Yeah. Well caught with the rebound. Kicks it to Morris. Morris dribbling ahead. Nice drive there, but just off for Downer. Put back, yes. Grace Downer bailing out Emma Downer. Well, Grace Downer has been uh, here quite a few minutes here in the fourth yeah. quarter. Double digit score. Sierra Warren calling up a play. We'll kick it. Tried to drive it down low there, but it would be a foul. Going back down, and this yeah, is the double bonus. The so we're going to shoot yep. two fouls here, two shots. Foul shots here for East Hampton as they try to cut into that 20 point lead Frontier has as they lead 50 to 30. Just go Clavier's first shot is no good. She will get another. Second shot, no good, but rebound. Downer, gets it back up. Wild miss. Before trying for the rebound, but tips it out, so East Hampton will regain possession here. Downer will inbound to Morse. Morse trying to lose LaFord up top. LaFord, some nice hands there. Tips it free. LaFord on the drive. Tipped out there by Morse on the other end. Great play by Kylie, though, to get that, get yeah. that ball even loose. Amazing hands. So it will be an inbound for Frontier. We see our Warren underneath the basket to inbound. 
And the Sub board has power. to come off. I think maybe she got hurt there on that last play. Yeah, Ray Demon's back in. I didn't see what happened to her. No. Zero so Warren gets it in to Sydney Taylor, who has it poked free there by Morris, who gets the steal. Foul on Megan Self as she'll foul out. It looks like they're implying ice to LaFord's knee. Yeah, her, her she right used to be in a lot of pain. So Megan Self has fouled out of the game. Not Megan's night. No. Kayla Mackin will sub in. And we'll have two foul shots for East Hampton. Down at the line. Grace misses the first. Let's see if they can cut to that 20 point lead. And she misses again. Rebound by Marie Demon. She'll drive it up here for Frontier. In the last 15 seconds of the game. Demon kicks it to Mackin. Mackin down low, low post play. Puts it up, hits the bottom of the backboard. Fife will be a foul. With 6.9 left in the fourth. Caitlin will go to the line. And Caitlin looked like she's favoring her right leg a little bit. This is what you don't want to have happen in garbage no. time is to have injuries. Especially to your starting players. First shot. No good. Rebound, Mackin, five seconds. Taylor puts it up, no good. Rebound, East Hampton, and that'll be the game. The final score from Goodno Gymnasium, Frontier Redhawks, never in doubt in this one as they defeat the East Hampton Eagles by a count of 50 to 30. We'll come back and wrap it up next. This is Frontier Regional School Basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. Chris Collins and Zach Lino back out here at Good No Gymnasium. The final score, the Frontier Redhawks defeat the East Hampton Eagles by a count of 50 to 30. Zach, this one was never in doubt. East Hampton uh, only had one lead in the game, and that was back in the first half. But beyond that, on every facet of the game, it was all Frontier. Yeah, I mean, early they played close and they played strong, but Frontier soon figured out East Hampton's weakness of shooting and they exploited that by just doubling up every time they go for that baseline. Leading scorer in the game was Amelia Sobieski with 16 points in the pivot for Frontier. Also, Marie Beeman and Caitlin Mackin had 14 and 13 points respectively. I think the story, though, between uh, Beeman, Mackin, and Sobieski was the defense. Lots of blocks. They were very yeah. difficult for East Hampton. Sobieski had kind of four blocks and three steals. It was difficult for East Hampton to get any kind of an offensive rhythm because of the defense that was played by the Frontier Red Hawks. Also, the backcourt played well. Sienna, Sierra Warren had some, some quality minutes. But really, I think it was the big three of Demon, Mackin, and Sobieski that made the lion's share of the plays. But some good bench work, too, from Sidney Taylor. And Rebecca Bridwell did a good job as she started this game. And Megan Self, even though she finished with no points and five fouls, was definitely a factor when she was out there. So the Frontier Red Hawks moved to 6-3 and three with the independent win. And uh, they continue to cruise... Uh, toward tournament play and of course the upcoming showdown with the Greenfield Green Wave on January 30th in this building. But overall, Zach, a solid performance 
by the Frontier Red Hawks over an obviously overmatched team. The final score from Goodenough Gymnasium, the Frontier Red Hawks 50, the East Hampton Eagles 30, and my broadcast partner Zach Lino, and our producer is Alec Echo, the executive producer of Frontier Community Sports. Kevin Murphy, final score for the final time from Goodenough Gymnasium, Frontier 50, and East Hampton 30. Thanks for watching Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television.